everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play to the Moon. Um, in our last episode, we were introduced to two doctors of some sort of Sigmund Corporation, and um, we're trying to hook up some sort of machine to a dying aged man. And right now, we're looking around for clues before we actually do the procedure with these two muskrats. We can open the funny room in the basement now. The funny room. Yeah, I'm curious about what this funny room you speak of is. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Okay. The chest is locked. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Oh, charming. Sniff, sniff. Once we were down here and the lights were out, and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay, because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> oh. Oh. The door to the funny room is right there. I know, but I, I am snooping. I am snooping around your house. What's in here? What's in here? The hamper? The chest is locked. Oh, wow. Box is filled with colored papers. This cabinet is filled with unused fine china. This cabinet is filled with dusty books. Okay. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sits here. Animorphs. The door is locked. Open the door with a room key. So this is the funny room. It's like a cave in here. Turn on the light. Whoa! This is kind of creepy. What the heck is this room? Weird is right. Is this a bunch of bunnies? A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Sure, I'll take it. Receive the toy platypus. A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, wow, what does this all mean? A broken music box. Can I not go to any of these areas? All of a sudden, this whole place is creeping me out. I don't know. Is that... Is this... Is Johnny the Origami Killer? Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, do you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Stay and wait for the machine. Yeah, let's go see the lighthouse. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. This is a mystery we need to solve. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs. How do we get to the lighthouse, exactly? All of a sudden, the music is now... So do I go out to the front? I wouldn't. I'm not sure if I noticed a way to the lighthouse from the outside here, but I could try. Oh, they're faster now. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. All right, so let's do this. So far, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The puzzles are not really all that challenging, but that's okay. My mind is kind of feeling numb right now, so I don't know if I necessarily would be in the mood for elaborate puzzles. Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Somebody, someone broke it! It's a novelty beach ball. Ah. It was stupid anyway, but 
But it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. It's probably the only novelty beach ball you ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it. You will? Sure, but we kind of need to get going now. Oh, that was very sweet. Novelty beach ball. So I have to go the other way. It's smoking! Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. Roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah! We destroy all evil. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Do you roleplay too? I, uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just, you children watch. All right. Who ran over the squall? Squall. Also not me. Not my fault. A smoking hot car. Yeah, I know. All right, let's get to that lighthouse. One of the portraits was that lighthouse. Ooh, a squirrel! Yes, a golden squirrel. Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. What? 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 We're gonna fight? Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. What? What? Whoa, really? Okay, I didn't expect- I didn't expect- Wow, I didn't expect this. I thought it was just gonna be a point and click. Attack? Volcanic jump kick? <laughs> Whirlwind slap? Armageddon fist or shoe? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, realistically, I want to do a shoe. I, I feel like this is gonna be hilarious though. I don't want to hurt the golden... You're all gonna hate- you're gonna all think I'm boring and hate me that I'm the shoe, but I'm gonna start with a shoe and see what happens. Yelling volume, loud, louder, loudest. I mean, I'm throwing a shoe. Let's do loudest. Your, uh, time is at an end, Squirrel Gone. Yeah! Stop it! Or we'll tell Ma- tell Ma you animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just... I wasn't gonna... Didn't you say you like role-playing? Oh! <laughs> yes! I didn't see that! Do you like role-playing? Oh, that's great! Oh, that, that's so good, game. That was so good. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay! Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> That was, I did not, totally unexpected. That was great. They had the music and everything. Uh, I figured they would probably get mad if I tried to attack it. I knew it, but I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be super boring. I was already going to just throw a shoe at it instead of using my, in, my inferno fist or whatever. So, but that's okay. That was hilarious. Oh, so good. <laughs> I can't get over that. <laughs> it seems so out of place for this game, but okay. <laughs> hmm. This? this is like a grave or something in memory of river e wilds oh river river is probably johnny's wife who passed away and that river wilds that's probably um so johnny wilds johnny's wilds is probably his name and that um song for river was was for his wife was she john's wife don't know come on the lighthouse is right there all right all right
Whoa, there's more of them. This is it. Wow. A multicolored paper. Ah, he is the he is the origami killer. Oh, a multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an old hobby, an odd hobby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. It's Watts. Is everything ready? All right, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Received paper rabbit. Interesting. So clues are rabbit and his wife is named River and I'm not sure what else we know about this guy. Oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. <laughs> Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're, we're good to go. Of course we are because I'm competent. I love these two. I really like Watts. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. Helmet's on the couch. By the way, I'm curious. How does it work? Do you just write him another life like a novel? Write him another life? No, we can't just make up new memories out of thin air. Then how do you do it? Not us. The machine does most of it. Naturally, since we aren't paid enough to get our hands dirty. In a nutshell, we simply travel through his memories to as early as possible. When we do, we would then transfer his registered desire of going to the moon. To the reconstruction of the world and himself at the early state. Interesting. And with the help of a wiki of data and his own, the machine would then simulate a rerun. Except this time, he'll have the motivation of his registered desire with him all his life. So they're basically redoing his life. Which actually makes sense because when you dream, like, th th like things speed up when you dream. Um, like, I, I've had dreams where I could have sworn the dream lasted for days, but it only lasted for like, you know, five minutes or something. Um, I mean, Inception, the whole, that, that whole concept's in Inception as well. Things, you know, well, within the dream, they're, they're happening faster than what you think. So they, yeah, they can essentially have him dream an entirely new life. That's an interesting concept. So you'd be depending on him fulfilling his own wish. So you'd be depending on him fulfilling his own wish by simply having the desire to. And I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that you have to, a, a lot of that wish, a lot of that dream has to come from you. It's not just artificially implanted by, this, by the machine. It's like the machine and the patient have to work together. It, it, it can't, you can't have one without the other and make this work. How could that be? Everyone has ambition for things, but most, don't, but most don't accomplish them. That's because in the real world, ambitions fluctuate and fade. People start things with a passion, but eventually they lose that initial drive and slow down. Oh, now that's really starting to hit me. But imagine if you lock, lock, locked onto the initial push through your entire life, never wavering. It's more powerful than it seems. That being said, no ambition is going to help a dead man. We better go get started. Oh, of course. Sorry. This is really interesting stuff. Is there anything I can do? If anything is needed, the doc will let you know. It's vital to keep the place quiet during the procedure, so please make sure of that. I will. Can I say anything to the kids? I didn't know you had ADHD, Eva. I wanted to talk to the kids. Come on, Watts. Come on. Go on, I'll watch over his physical conditions through the procedure. Okay. Your helmet's on the couch, chop chop. All right. Initiate, let's do this. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. 
Oh, that was Watts. All right, here we go. Now they both have their helmets on. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. So there's Johnny as an old man. still have the toy platypus, a plush toy of duck-billed platypus, a dual-colored rabbit made from paper. We still have the monitor. Oh, we can even move faster here. A selection of readings from medical journals. There's another bed here. Interesting. None of these paintings were hung yet. But there's, there's spots for them, apparently. So we need to find Johnny here. For River by Johnny H. Wilds. Yeah, Johnny H. Wilds. Can we not go to the basement? It's not. We're very limited in where we can go in the stream. I'm assuming he's at the lighthouse, that's my guess. Oh! No, they're over there. Johnny and his wife. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Oh, that is Lily. Okay, not his wife. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We are here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil, show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. <laughs> that Watts! Way to spoil the mood. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? Oh, this man's last wish. Oh, I'm already starting to tear up, guys. I'm not, I'm not even like, it's only the second episode. We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to get there. To go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Hmm. It, I just do. Fair enough. That's fine by me. 
I can already tell this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. This is really interesting! It's got like this Final Fantasy sci-fi thing going on. It's, re it's really intriguing. I've never played a game like this before. Which you've given us the permission to do in, a, in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories, in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need, that's when you'll need help to help us influence the childhood you. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. That's a good point. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort of of some sort to get us started? I mean, there's the bunny and there's the platypus. That'll do. It's the it's a two-colored bunny. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Receive note. Moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Memento. We'll need to prepare this memento first. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that I'm missing before we do this. The thoroughness in me, guys. I'm wondering if the beach ball's still there. Huh. I don't know if we've gotten to this part yet. Alright, well. Doesn't look like there's anything left for us, so... Let's go prepare it. We need to prepare this memento first. Go ahead and prepare it. Whoa! Sigmund Core. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. There we go. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Activate memento? Sure. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. This is very realistic too, I'm glad they thought about things like that. We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped, which is true. I mean, if you're giving them permit, you've, you've given them permission to do this, so. So how far back are we gonna go? Somewhere here. All these bunnies. Is he composing the song for his wife? Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Jeez, what's with all of these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psycho, psycho, psychopathy, psychopathy, psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his memory. There's the platypus. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento to here to hop from. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. Am I timed? A 
multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. All right, we gotta find more mementos. Through this guy's memory. I wanna get to that platypus, but apparently I can't. Can't get there. Let's go upstairs. How about this umbrella? No, come back. Grab the umbrella first. Memento what? Requires memory links to shoot. Wow. Okay. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Ugh, I hate this stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olive. I'm not actually a big olive fan. I love most vegetables. Olives is one of the few vegetables that I'm not too much of a fan of. Fan of. Exactly. An old and patched up backpack. What is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. An old and patched up backpack. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christensen Andersen. Yep. Uh, yep. Reception of reading from medical journals. Fresh wild flowers. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. There's one more. I guess it's that umbrella. more memento. The clock? The clock is moving but soundless. Received note. Clock. Let me check these notes. Moon. Objective. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Oh. The clock in Johnny's house house never tick. That is interesting. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. The clock in Johnny's house never tick. Hadouken! Oh, I love these. You can now travel with the Memento Umbrella. What the F was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. I love the Memento. Prepare. Alright, so we have to play another mini game. Reminder, the corner orb can flip through the entire diagonal. Interesting. So if I do this... Okay, this is going to be a little bit tougher. Now I'm back to where I was. I'm not very good at this kind, at this kind of game, guys. Um... There we go. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Activate. Alright. Moving backwards. Oh, to when his wife died. It's interesting traveling back backwards instead of from childhood to forwards. When it comes to rain, through is it look, rain through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's gonna take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. An old stuffed toy platypus. Must have belonged to his wife maybe. Honestly, I don't think this animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for the two of you. Try inside the lighthouse. Requires three bars of memory links to proceed. Okay. Can I move faster, please? 
Time is of the essence here. Uh oh. Okay. Still up there. Three memory bars. Well, where else can I go? Hmm. Maybe the grave? Yeah, the grave. In memory of River E. Wilds. An old stuffed platypus. It's finished, River. The lighthouse? Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. Hmm. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. When I'm gone, who is going to watch over us? Who are you? I thought you told us not to interact with them as much as possible. My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Oh, she's trying to get information. Yes. Her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? The music is so awesome. She... She didn't need to do it. She didn't need to do what? But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. I'm wondering what she did that she didn't have to do. Have this, I have, I feel this Pixar's Up, this Pixar's Up vibe right now. I don't know. Ugh. Receive note, Anya. I'll read that note in the next video. Um, but and anyway, I'll end this, I'll end the session here. Thanks guys for watching this episode of Let's Play to the Moon. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves and love each other. <laughs>